Hi guys, it's Betty. I'm just doing a little playing tonight in my new craft room. I'm just so excited because I can play and it's not my dining room table and I don't have to put it away and I can leave out a little bit of a mess here. So anyway, um, what I did was I cut um, the sewing room dress form die from Tim Holtz out of some chipboard. It's the um, lightweight white chipboard um, that comes in a pack with the medium weight and the black lightweight at Joann's. And it has, you know, just a little bit of a, I'm using my iPhone, so sorry, but it has a little bit of a um, glossy, almost finish, not glossy, but just shinier finish um, than, say, a regular chipboard would. Um, so I, I was playing around, and what I, the look I was going for was this rusted enamel look um, where this is just a shipping tag and um, what you do is you rub this you know the distress ink the weathered wood cover it with some clear embossing powder flick that off and then use your distressing tool with say some vintage photo so this is the look I got on the chipboard. This is when I actually, um, you can see my lines where I really just like rubbed the weathered wood across it. Um, and then I tried to flick the embossing powder off, but it's like my vintage photo, not enough of it came off. And then also my vintage photo just really didn't take um, as well on the lighter areas. Even and then the second one that I did here um, is where I just kind of you know pounced the ink pad on the dress form rather than going back and forth. I kind of pounced it on, did the same thing, and tried to flick more off, but I still feel like it was really sticking. Um, so I think both are kind of a cool look. I mean, I like them both. They just weren't really this cool rusted enamel look I was going for. So anyway, I just wanted to share. So I'll be doing some more experimenting. I'll probably cut my dress tags, dress forms out of some manila um, folders, um, recycle some of those, and um, try it again. So just wanted to share. Thanks.